All right, today is May 20th, 2011. Um, this is an aquaponic update. I am no longer in my dorm room, but I am in my laundry room here. And uh, I've, I've made some changes. I've taken out the two big lettuce plants, had some of that to eat. Still have yet to get to most of it, unfortunately. Um, but I kept the wheat, which is really growing there. Uh, this guy, this lettuce, and chamomile, and oregano. And I replaced the lettuce plants with a strawberry plant and a tumbling tom cherry tomato plant, I believe it is, something like that. Um, I bought these at a nursery. They were already, you know, fairly well grown. This guy, actually, he's grown a whole lot. He was not nearly that big when I got it. So, yeah, I, I got it a couple weeks ago. Um, or maybe, yeah, a couple weeks ago. And uh, this guy had one or two strawberries growing when I got it, and it had a couple flowers. I uh, used a paintbrush right here to hand pollinate those flowers. And lots of other flowers grew. And I pollinated those, and right now I have, I guess, about 13 strawberries growing. Um, and we'll see if that continues after these strawberries are done growing, or if it'll be dormant for a while as far as production of flowers and fruit. Uh, maybe it needs to grow more leaves or something. I don't know. Something I've been thinking about, though, um, it's having to put in a lot of effort, I'm guessing, to produce all of these strawberries, um, 13 at once with just these few leaves here. Um, so I'm guessing that might take a while. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Um, and I'm starting to see some flowers on this guy. Uh, it's hard to see. Um, let me just move this light. So I can get in easier um, and see. Yeah, so I got some flower buds here, all around here, um, some up here. So I'll hopefully be having some cherry tomatoes soon, and we'll see how that goes. And uh, as far as the wheat goes, um, it's actually starting to grow some, I guess you'd call that a flower. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really look like a traditional flower, but, you know, it's a grain stock. Here. I don't quite know if it self-pollinates, you know, if this is both the female and male parts. I don't see any pollen. I, I probably should just look that up. But my guess is, well, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just watching it grow. Having fun with that. I didn't quite expect to see that. Uh, it was kind of surprised me a little bit. But I guess that's what you get when you go wheat, right? <laughs> Um, this guy has been suffering more from the whole fungus or whatever problem. And I've been wanting to take him out and the chamomile, which is, is just doing terrible. Um, and replacing it with something, but I haven't quite gotten something to replace it with yet. I was thinking, um, I've got some plants out in my yard that I could transplant. I've got what I believe is a wild strawberry plant few of them actually in my front yard and uh, or I could you know put in a dandelion use its leaves and stuff because uh, it's edible too just like stinging nettles and all this stuff but yeah so that's my update um, my fish are doing well uh, they're kind of freaking out right now I guess or no they're just chilling I don't know what they're doing still got algae and I should probably buy a new snail a third snail to kind of eat the algae a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, one fish didn't quite take the whole transportation thing very well. It started acting sick and was always kind of by itself, and then it started kind of floating around, and so I decided to flush it, um, especially since I, I didn't want it to spread anything to my other fish. So, 
that's too bad, and hopefully that will be the end of the sickness. But yeah, that is my update, and I will update you guys again when progress has been made. Thanks for watching.